do if it used meters, it would be 1.7 meters. I guess. Meters. I'm trying, alright, to get better at that, but... Yeah. I, like, I've looked up my height in meters several times, but I just keep forgetting it, because, you know... <laughs> even other people who use meters, I still sort of hear them refer to their height in, like, feet sometimes. So, yeah. Screw the Imperial system. I know. I, I know, dude. Freaking... Yeah. Metric system is just so much easier to use. You know? Like, just multiply by ten. It's not hard, you know? Tens and tens and tens, it's great. <clears throat> but the problem is, growing up in the American school system, you just get accustomed to, like, feet and inches and weird stuff like that. And, you know, it's reinforced by, you know, like, road signs and other measurements. Like, you know, you go buy a gallon of milk instead of a liter of milk or something like that. So then you just get used to it, so then it's kind of hard, unless you're in, like, a scientific field, to unlearn that and then relearn the metric system. Because, you know, in your day-to-day -day life, you know, just because everyone else uses the Imperial system, it's then easier to use the Imperial system. But yeah, I've been trying to get more accustomed to that. Yeah. Actually, recently, I have, like, a little thing on the bottom right of my desktop tray that, like, shows the, uh, the temperature, and I've switched that to Celsius just to try and get more used to that, so, yeah. Imagine using Fahrenheit. Exactly. You know. Ah, uh, yes, in Fahrenheit, 32 degrees is freezing, and 200 and, what, 16 is boiling? How about we just make it easy? Zero is freezing, 100 is boiling. Ah. <laughs> it makes so much sense. I love it. Yeah. Alright, let's see. Enveloping Shadows, main. Here we go. Vatu. Oh, yeah, let me show my build real quick. Wait, not, not that build. This build. This is what I've been using. Double DR, Assassin's Tools, Gathering Shadow. Range of Ambush at level 2, Outnumbered as a filler. I liked that last time I used it, so I'm going to tr keep trying it out. And then Contemplation for Self-Sustain. This seems pretty good to me, so I'm going to use that. Especially because the ult charge card is broken for the one that, like, gives you a ult charge back for hitting someone with your ult. So, yeah. Let's also get Cauterize, and let's just go. Alright, Andrew's such a nerd I could see him using Kelvin. No, I'm not that much of a nerd. Come on now. It was based on some dude's mouth heat and the outside temperature in a town in Virginia in the winter. Are you serious, Eamon? I haven't heard the origin story of Fahrenheit, so I can't fact check if that's true, but... If so, that's just silly. Imperial system is just whack. Like, even just the names of the units of measurement is weird, like... Ah, yes, you like feet? We're gonna use that to measure! Woohoo! <laughs> like, what? Uh, what does an inch even mean? Although, to be fair, what does a meter even mean? Does it have, like, some sort of Latin root? I, I don't... Mm. There, there's probably actually some good, understandable meaning behind that that I am unaware of at the current time. Yeah. Better than feet! <laughs> That's for certain. Hello, Vora. You know, I'm just going to teleport closer to you so I can hit you easier. I'll do that. I did not get bonus ammo from the card. So it seems like when I only have one shot left, if I shoot and then use my shadow bombs, it doesn't give me one in the bag. Oh, and I'm dead. So it seems like I'm just going to have to, like, use my shadow bombs before I get on such low ammo or something. Yeah. Now it just describes, like, 17 different things. Ah, uh, yes. <laughs> yeah. <clears throat> And then we got a yard as a unit of measurement. Literally, that patch of grass that's at the front of your house. Yeah, let's take that name and use it as a system of measurement. But let's make it not the size of your actual yard. Ha 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 ha! We are smart. Jeez. <clears throat> Alright. Well, I have an ult, so if someone comes in here, I'm gonna just slice him. Slice him with the ult. Hello. Bonk. No shield for you, and you're gone. Well, I'm in danger here. Let's throw shadow bombs at you. We oh, got our ammo back. It's like delayed. It's like I shoot my shadow bombs, and then like a second later I get it. It's not like instant. That's weird. Um, uh, maybe I should go see if he has any different ammo cards, just in case. Because yeah, it's a little bit finicky compared to other ammo cards that I'm used to, like Eevee, for example. So, <clears throat> I mean, our tank is dead. We can try and maybe push up this way and see if we can just go behind him. Maybe flank the Strix or something. Oh, Zin is inbound. Hello! Let me just miss you with everything real quick, because I know how to play the video game. Okay. 
Um, I don't have a teleport in. Oh, hi. Uh, oh, hi. Okay, you're not where I expected you to be. We're gonna do this. I mean, you should be dead. He just was not well equipped to deal with that. I mean, Strix into Vatu. Strix into any flank is just bad, but against Vatu in particular. Vatu is just so good at killing snipers because he's so hard to track and he's got that teleport. And he's super quiet, too. So when you're scoped in, you don't have that good of a vantage point. Like, as much of a field of view as you would normally. And then you just can't really hear him, either. He's so good at killing him. Alright, up we go. Strix is literally just camping there, which is very annoying. And we're actually going to fail that push, because Ash is too scared to touch. Fair enough. <laughs> Some guy's yard was three times as big as his foot. He had a 12-inch foot, and they got feed in yards from that. Ah, yes, guy. That makes perfect sense. Feels on dash card is helping you a lot. Yeah, it is. So it's weirdly worded, but the way it works is as you level up the card, it gives you less healing per burst, but it makes it last for longer. So this card at level 4 gives me pretty much 150 healing per second for 2 seconds. So it's 300 healing per dash, pretty much. On top of 3 dashes, which have a pretty short cooldown. And then when you go enveloping shadows, you get more cooldown reduction. And then you buy chronos. So yeah, it's nice. And then we also have double DR. So when I teleport somebody and when I throw shadow bombs, I get DR. I just think it's a really nice build, honestly. I've really been enjoying it. So, yeah. Let's try this again. I think we are generally winning because they both lack a tank and they lack spam. On this map, you need spam and you need a tank. Generally speaking. Especially someone like Terminus. So, yeah, they don't really have either of that. And this is not where I want to be. Oh, come on! Really? Eh, that's annoying. Well... Yeah. Just that Vivian looking at me was kind of a big problem. If I could have teleported to the site and gotten one shot off on her, I probably could have been able to take her out. But the way that engagement worked, it was just not good enough for me. We've capped it pretty well. And if Ash gets the souls off, yeah, she's going to be there for a while. Let me see. No, I don't want to teleport to you. I want to do this. And then this. And then that didn't hit her. We should be able to teleport up into here. And you're dead. There we go. Hello. They got a triple kill. That Zin. How are you... Okay, I was only hitting one kunai per burst there. That was weird. There we go. You're dead. I'm still just surviving in this back line. I'm going to heal up out of combat before I go in on somebody. Ooh, nice. We'll just can go in and dive that Strix. Unfortunately, she's dead to Vora, but... She got a kill, so that's good. Hi, Vivian. What are you doing standing still there? And we're going to cap it. Nice job, guys. Alright. Oh, Vora's in here. Hello. Can they come fight me? What are we doing? What are we doing? Oh, I'm taking damage. That's what I'm doing. Thank you, Grover, for the heals. Yeah, nope. Oh, I tried to dash out, but I got crippled. Dang it, Vora. You're so annoying. Should I get resilience for one crippled? Nah. Alright. Let's see, let's try and head back in again. I have another ult, which is nice. Vatu seems to have pretty decently fast ult charge, which is good. So I can just pop that on Vivian or something if I need to. But right now, we just gotta group up, because... Yeah, a lot of us are dead. So let's just, uh... Ah, nice. Alright. There we go. Should have everyone back now. Alright, let's go. Whoop! Gonna sneak my way over here. It looks like there's a reveal drone. There's also a Vivian. We'll just teleport in here. And you're dead. Let's hit the stun through you. And you're gonna blow away. Gosh dang it. I'm also super low. Heal on dash card really coming in clutch there. Let's do that for the DR. Oh, she's running away. She's scared. I don't blame her, honestly. But we still can kill her. Nice. And just like that, that's most of them dead. We're gonna do this. Hit the sticky bombs. I was hoping that would hit her under the shield. I don't know how effective that was, but she's dead. And I just got randomly shot by Strix. Come on. Alright, I think I'm gonna get a little bit of kill to heal. I'm not getting much the same from this Grover. He's not the best for healing flanks. He's just not really the best healer in general, I mean. Besides his blossoms, I don't know. It's just a little bit weird. So yeah, that'll be helpful for me. <clears throat> and we're pushing this a pretty good amount of the way. I feel like if we stick with it and actually get some good picks here. We'll be able to push it in where we failed last time. Ooh, and Grover just wasted ult there. You can't ult through Genos ult if you don't have health card. Do you have health card? 
I mean, you do have it at level 2. I don't know if that's enough, though. I don't remember Grover's base health or not. Alright. We need to group up. We still have 20 seconds left. It's going to be tight here if we try to push it in. It might be feasible, but I don't really know. Maybe we do something like this. Up, and... Oh, this is a mistake. Okay. Ash is trying to go in, but she's disconnected from her healer. Yeah. No, this isn't feasible. This isn't feasible. We can at least take out the Vivian ult, though. There we go. So even if nothing else came from that push, we at least got Vivian's ult down, so that's huge. Grover did get a massive buff, so it's fine. No, Grover didn't get a massive buff. He got a quality of life change to his ult, and he got a nerf to Deep Roots. And also do one of his healing cards. He did not really get a massive buff at all. You know what always annoys me about Grover? Alright, let me guess. You can't see his own radius. Ah, uh, yeah, that's what you're going for. As team, you can see the range of the passive in the queue. But playing as Grover, you can't see it. Yeah. It'd be nice if you could see the radius. It would also be nice if there were a UI indicator telling you which champions on your team are in the radius. Like, I think Lucio in Overwatch, correct me if I'm wrong, but I'm pretty sure when I did play him, like, once, I think I remember seeing, like, you know, just a little indicator saying which of your teammates were inside of the bubble or the radius as you were healing them. It'd be nice if Grover had something similar so you could know, like, just another way to know if he's, like, in range, but also in general just, like, knowing uh, who you're healing. I'm in danger, so we're going to run through here and hope that the Zen didn't see me, he did! Ah! 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 Panic! Oh! I'm alive! I'm alive! Okay, heck yeah. Heck yeah, Vivian, we're going to get the R. I don't have a second dash, but Grover's going to finish that, but I'm still dead because there's a Vora behind us. Oh my goodness. Okay, let's get more Kelly, y'all. Here we go. Lucio can see his own radius and has an indicator of how many are inside the radius. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, I just wish that were in Paladins for Grover. Especially because Lucio's not exactly a main healer, but Grover kind of is. So it'd be more impactful for him, I would think. Also, yeah, Ash is probably dead. Yeah. Um, can you die? No. I just missed every single shot there on him, so he's going to kill me. Even though I literally could have one-shot him. I just... It's so hard to track him, because I don't have Illuminate. You know what? I think that'll be my final item once I get the credits for it. Just so I can see him, because that was really annoying. Yeah, Grover and Will are dead. Ash is going to try to get back, but she's going to get ulted by Zin. I don't even think she's going to be able to touch. Yeah, no, that's definitely not happening. Unfortunately, they actually managed to cap it with that weird team comp. Honestly, it's my fault. Didn't get enough good picks there. And I'm crippled, so I'm going to die. Jeez. Or just with these random cripples. Oh, and she's emoting. Now that's just toxic. You had a generous pocket and you had a cripple. Yeah, real impressive that you killed me. Maybe I should go for resilience. Nah, nah. I'll leave it. Here we go. Let's just try and head back in. They're running because they have top tier champions and you don't. I mean, we have Leon and Vatu, and Ash is pretty good. I guess. They, they also have Vivian and Strix, though. Neither of them are top tier at all. Whoa! Okay, there we go. He's dead. Nice. Kelly Hill, helping me out. Um, are we fine back here? Don't think anyone knows I'm here, so we should be fine. Uh, except they do know I'm here. Okay. Wait, except maybe Vor doesn't? Oh, there we go. Nice. Just gonna do that. Pop a stun. Hey, you're dead. That was so smooth. He just feels so smooth. Love this champion, but I'm also probably dead. Okay, Strix shot. To the left of the ice block, I dashed to the right of the ice block, but still somehow my hitbox got hit by a snipe. Okay, thanks. Nice. Eh. You cannot kill. Yeah, but Frostfang said that Vivian is top tier. Well, Frostfang is wrong. Vivian is not top tier. Alright, she's easily flankable. She's not even the best damage. In terms of bumping up damage, if you want to shred a tank, there are better options. If you want to shred damage champions, there are better options. Literally, just go play Cassie or Tyra. Both of them are better. Tyra's just a better freaking Vivian. Just straight up. Neither of them have mobility. But Tyra has DR. Tyra has better damage. Overall. She's harder to flank. Where are they? Oh, there's the Zen. And I missed the Shadow Bombs. And he's also... Eh, he's also going away. Oh my goodness, I'm so low. We're just gonna run. Grover sacrifice himself. No! Don't kill me! Please! Okay, we should be fine. 
They have 20 seconds left to push this all the way. I don't think they can do it. If we can't do it, there's no way they can. Right, let's do that. Quickly get rid of that real quick. And now, a lot of people know I'm here. But they're still not going to hear me coming. Oh, but they see me coming. That reveal, man. That's so annoying. Alright, let's see. Let's just kill you. Scorpion's going to take that. That's fine. Whoa! Multiple people. Multiple people. Okay. Well, we can run. And yeah, there's no way they push this. Can we get the Strix? Hey, we can. Nice. Sweet. <clears throat> Shh, Andrew, have you heard Frost Fangs? I have to trust a man with that accent. Fair enough, he does have a nice voice. Fun fact, Avatu's dash is like tele Talos' teleport rune. It keeps his hitbox back for a few frames before getting halfway through the animation. So, for instance, you can dash away, but Khan can grab your frame, and all of a sudden you read it back while being a Makoa shield length away. I see. Interesting. That's an interesting way to program that. Ideally, you know, the hitbox would travel with the dash, but I guess that's not how that works for some reason. Also, yeah, nice way to connect it back to Talos, the other squadron. <laughs> What do you think about on this map? It's not his best map, but it's not really a good map for flankers in general, so... Yeah. <clears throat> he's pretty good, though. He's pretty flexible. I feel like he can be played decently on just about any map. Because he's just got a very mobile kit, and he's very sneaky. That was a fantastic flare. Just flew right off the edge. Well done, Strix, my boy. Oh, he's just dead. Okay, nice. I'm also just dead. Ow. Okay. Nice. Luminary boost of Vivian. Even though Vivian isn't up to, I mean, she can still kill people, especially with women, right? Also, Willow's using her ult inside of a tight corner, but... Alright. You're also forgetting this is Paladins. They haven't even fixed the ult card still. Don't suspect function hitboxes. Yeah, the ult card that's broken on release. Love to see it. Also, we gotta group up and get back there. We still have Ash ult, Grover ult, and my ult. I need to go get kills and make something happen. I've been revealed. How dare you... Alright, we can do that. I'm getting just bullied by the Strix and Vivian combo, though. Ash, you need to touch point now. Okay, she's ulted onto the point. I need to get back there and get more kills, though. Willow's gonna wipe out the Vivian and the Strix, so we should be fine on point for the time being. Just don't die. Don't be stupid. <clears throat> Alright, let's see. <laughs> the enemy Vivian is secretly Frostfangs, and he's mad that you're saying he's wrong. Prepare to get destroyed. Yes. Alright, oh hi. Ooh, he billowed through that. Okay, well played. He's still dead, though. And that should be our cap, I think. Hello. There we go. You're gone. You're gone because you just tried to touch. And yeah, that's GG. Nice job, team. I... Oh my goodness. They're literally just staggering in at this point. You guys can't win like that. Just stop. There we go. There it is. I'm facing the wrong way. I thought it went the other way. Okay. Eh. <sighs> Jeez. Yagwa yeah, probably has the most accurate hitbox. Not really. Even when I shoot inside her mouth, it still doesn't give me headshot hitbox procs sometimes. But yeah, let's see. Let's take a look at the stats. 20 and 11. 71,000 damage. Despite a few rough plays there, I still did decent overall. And yeah, our Willow did good. Our Leon did good. Yeah. We actually had less healing than them overall, which is very surprising, considering it's a Genos. But, yeah, Genos does work with that type of comp, though. He definitely works when there's no tank and you've got a bunch of damage champions to buff, because that was really annoying. I mean, damage boosted Vivian. Yeah, no. Even if she ain't top tier, it's just annoying. <laughs> but anyways, I hope you guys have enjoyed today's video. If you have, make sure to drop a like, subscribe, and turn on notifications so you never miss an upload from me. Also, make sure to check out the Twitch channel and the Discord server, both of which are linked in the description below. I stream regularly on Twitch, and you can come find me on Discord where we play a lot of games there, including Paladins, Overwatch, and more. So go check me out there. Lastly, I want to give a huge shout out to the members of the channel for helping to support what I do. If you want to help support my content and unlock some fun emojis, as well as an exclusive role in the Discord server, then just click the join button right next to the subscribe button. It's cheap, and it helps out a lot. Anyways, I will see you all next time. Peace out.